Well, welcome to Alders Farm Fishery on a bitterly cold day and I've been asked to try and catch a carp and in an absolute blind squirrel moment, we've caught one. What I'm gonna do is show you my approach to catching these carp in the winter. Very simple, very cheap. So welcome to Alders Farm Fishery today. The challenge is for me to catch uh, a couple of carp. All we're going to use today is fishery pellets, some uh, ringers, wafters and some fuki baits and I'm going to show you one or two tricks on what I do with the baits to try and make us catch a few fish. Right so I'm going to talk you through how I prepare my micros and I'm going to try and show you a little trick that might catch you some extra fish. It's certainly working for me uh, so let's go. Simply fishery pellets Add your water, cover it up. Now lots of people leave it for two minutes. I leave it for about 45 seconds or something like that. But what I do is I add something a little bit different to it. And the reason I add something a little bit different is that if you're ever fishing, if you're fishing a match or just pleasure fishing and you're looking for a change bait, if you've only got fishery micros, there's not much you can change. But these little beauties, which I found in a shop, bought some, and I add them now to my finished mix. So I'm gonna take the water out now, just dispose of that there, put the micros into a container, really simple. Because the pellets are pervious, they're continuously taking water on. So they're continuously getting softer. If it was a high oil pellet, it would emulsify and it wouldn't go soft. So just try and remember that. Always use your fishery pellets, or if not, coarse pellets. Then add these ones here, reds, yellows, whites. Just add them to your mix. And then what it does, your fishery pellets now have got a completely different complexion if you want. Look, you've got reds, yellows and whites. So when they go in, the fish will be picking up on them and then we can show you later how we catch on those. So let me talk you through the tackle I'm gonna to use today. My gem for my feeder fishing is my new Get Engage rod and I'm absolutely loving that. I'm using a hybrid 18 gram feeder with a QM1 size 16 bayoneted hook and the reel is a Kyger Colmic 4000. We're gonna start the session with the hybrid feeder. I've talked you through the bait that I use and how I prepare it. Now, at this time of the year, the hybrid can be absolutely devastating and you can catch loads of fish on it, which fortunately uh, it happens. However, we've got to be very careful, just as an indication, we've got to be very careful this time of year with different thermals. Don't think that the fish just stick on the bottom. So what I tend to do is I have a waggler uh, set up and I check the different depths. And it, it could be simply they're fishing, they're sat, sorry, about a, uh, a foot above the, the, the bottom and you're missing all of those fish. So for my session today, it would be two rods, a waggler and a hybrid feeder. The reason I started on a hybrid feeder today is because just to get a tiny bit of bait down to the bottom uh, in, in the micros, but, but I can't stress enough having those different colors in there. There's lots of different ways of doing it, but different colors and, and giving you those additional baits that you can use. At this time of the year, what you, you don't really want to fall into this trap is if you cast out and you're not getting any indications whatsoever or any liners, it may be that the fish are sat just a couple of feet to the left or a couple of feet to the right or a couple of feet closer to you. Always have a little cast about. You're not putting, this is one of the reasons I use such a small feeder is you're not putting lots and lots of bait in to, to, 
concentrate than that. And that last cast may be the cast where you find a shoal of fish and then you go on to have a fantastic day. But it's that simple, it's about fish location. And if you've got the peg like this, you've only got so much you can go for. So what we'll do is we'll look around the peg and we'll cast a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, and, and eventually we'll find out where they are because that's what happens in the winter. The carp like to ball up. Maybe I've got the wrong peg today, but no, I've just had one. You can't believe that. That's, oh, he's come off. That was on a single yellow micro. So there you go, you saw me lose it. Not great for the camera, but you saw the bite. So we're gonna go back out to where I was on another single yellow. The great thing, I didn't know this, and uh, I've only just learned this recently, is I've been using this uh, Fuki baits in my uh, fishery pellets for quite some time, but they are a food source. It just makes it even more interesting. Uh, to, to, to a bait to use. So I'm going to keep with this. I'm on a micro, and it, I know that sounds really weird. I'm trying to get through that you can vary your baits and catch on all different sizes. And what's the point of spending all your hard earned cash and not using them to their full potential? We're about half an hour in now, and we've managed to snare one. And that was out of the blue, and then I've lost one. And now I'm just getting one or two indications, but they're not liners that are pulling it round, so that I don't believe they're any closer to me, because if they were closer, they would be pulling the tip right around. These are, these are fish that are near that bait, and it's whether I can get the hook bait that they want today. And so what we're gonna do, gonna give it a couple more minutes on, I'm at the moment fishing a yellow micro, but I'm gonna change over to a slightly bigger uh, bait. I'm gonna to go to the yellow wafter and we're going to see if that's any different because with the liners, if you've got a bait that's on the bottom and they're, they're, they're hitting that, that's where you're getting, but if it's slightly wafting up, they might just sna snatch at it. And if they do that, then we'll have one. So I'm going to make that change now. Because something that a great friend of mine always said to me, if you think it, do it. You've probably heard that many times. But the thing is, always do it. If you think something, do it. Don't sit there doing the same thing that's not working. If something's not working, look for something to make it work. So we just use the same this time we're just going over to a wafter, but I'm still making sure that I'm getting plenty of these mic coloured micros in the peg because I honestly believe that that's, that's what's, what's working for me. So I think I've gone slightly over to the left there. That's uh, a bad cast. I'll, I'll put it down to the sun in my eyes, but... Let's put it down to a bad cast as well. Let's see if this makes any difference. So our little subtle change there to a ringer's washed out yellow, still with the, the colored micros in the pot. It's the combination of baits and the one thing about myself is I will use whatever bait is needed to catch fish. Try and get to yourself to be a bit more open. So when you get a new bait hit the market, try to be, <coughs> there you go, try to be a bit more open in how you view it so that there's no point in saying oh I'm not going to use that bait because it might be that you use a combination of baits which is what we're using today we're using uh, the neons 
the micros and the ringers. Now, I've got to say, that is a very, 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 but we're going to stick with that. We're going to go back onto the ringers washed out again. But what you've got to remember is it's working in combination with these others. It's, it's so important that you keep those coloreds going in. And, and if you've not seen, if you've not done it, really go away and try it because I'm guaranteeing you, you will have success with it. You know, don't don't go down the road. Oh, I'm not going to use that bait because uh, always always try new things and 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 be prepared to 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 be to be open to new ideas. So let's go again. Look, we've put the feeder in. But what I've done this time, I've actually I'm looking in the, in my pot and I'm looking for the more densely populated yellow bits in there. So what I might have to do in a minute is go and get my bag of, of micro pellets, my yellow ones, and put more yellows in my... If yellow's the colour for today, we've all had that situation where the white's been the colour of the day, the pink, and this is what's great about all of these. The neons have got all of these different colours, but but if it's going to be yellow, so what we'll do, I'll get my yellow uh, mic micros uh, and put more yellows into my, into my feed. Well, out of the blue, like a hot cup of tea, very welcome on a cold day, the tip's gone round. And that's after we changed to the pink neon. And we'd had a couple of indications on the ringers washed out. We'd had, we'd had a fish on the ringers washed out. Then it went a bit quiet, so we threw a, a pink neon on and it's gone round. And I think that's the lesson I'm trying to sort of, or the knowledge I'm trying to impart with you, is to be prepared to change. That's something I want to touch on. Some fisheries may not uh, agree to you having, here we go, on the pink neon. <laughs> I was just about to change. What do I know? Nothing. <laughs> I was about to change over. Do I go back on the pink neon? I think so. But what I was going to touch on was the reason that we allow it here is I would much prefer somebody who looks after these fish to use these Fuki micros in our fishery pe pellets than allowing people to put different oils on the pellets. The whole idea of fishery pellets is to get rid of the oils. So for me and this fishery, we allow it. And uh, uh, I will always allow it. Anything that is safe and good for fishing and also gives you the angle a chance to catch a few fish, I'll allow. And that, that again was on a pink neon. So if we were live, I'd be asking you, should I stick with it? And I think the answer is yes. Look at this love. If you're looking for a decent rod and you got some money for Christmas, get yourself into one of these engages. They're fantastic. So we've had a few on the, on the pink neons now, uh, a few on the wafters, but I've not had a bite for ages. Now I'm going to show you one of the tricks which I'm reluctant to show you, but I've been forced into it. Something for you to try. The white micros, which are three mils, and they do a four mil, I believe it's four mil, and what we do, we put it on the bayonet, I don't know if you can see that. Many years ago, the carp anglers would tell you about the snowman rig. And that is a snowman. Now, that's my go-to method. I'm a bit gutted to tell you that, but I've been forced because that has managed to earn me a couple of quid. <laughs> so, I'm a bit gutted to tell you about that one, but you need to try it. It's so important. A little snowman rig. 
and that is the, the, the again, the Fuki hookers and micros. So let's go and let's catch one on it and show you. Question that I get asked quite often when I'm fishing over here and I'm fishing the feeder, how long are you leaving your feeder in? I think I'd like, personally like to start at this time of year. Remember it's a commercial fishery. Remember it's a well-stocked commercial fishery. Sometimes you wouldn't think so in the winter. Uh, but I like to do five minute casts and then see how the bites are coming or if they're not coming. And then I sort of extend it to 10 minute casts. I tend not to go beyond that because if you've had one of those casts where the bait may have come off, you don't want to be in there for too much longer. So I start on five and I extend it to 10. What I really hope is that the fish take it straight away. So I'm doing two minute casts, but that doesn't often happen. Well, I'm not playing any silly games for cameras today. I didn't catch anything on the old snowman, which is my go-to bait. So I've gone back to a pink neon and straight away I've got a, a fish. Something that is obvious is that you've got to make the changes during fishing, especially at this time of the year. Wow, he's running. You've got to make the changes. Oh, he's just now taking a bit of line. And on any particular day, a particular bait will come into its own. And today, without doubt, is the neons. And uh, why that is, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but again, as I say, my go-to method when I wasn't getting a bite is the snowman and it hasn't happened. Put the neon back on and it's gone. And you'll all have, we all have, we'll, if you look in my, in my bag, you'll say I have an array of, oh he's a big fish, I have an array of baits. And I'm never frightened to try something new. And, and in the matches I fish, I'm never scared to change over in the matches and look at this beauty now and he has fallen to a pink neon and I'd come off of my favorite bait the snowman thinking oh well I'm not going to catch put the pink neon on and it's gone straight away so the the key is never be afraid to change never be it there's no such thing as failure no such thing whatsoever. There's only, the only failure is if you don't try your best to catch what you can. And I think he is going to, to be around about six pound. And, oh, look at him. What a beautiful fish he is. Look, pristine condition. I don't know, but I'll try my best for you all. Uh, you have to remember, I'm not a professional. I'm gonna try my best to for you all. Let's have a look, let's have a look. We'll put him over the net, over the net. Look at him, look, isn't he a beauty? I'm well pleased with that one. Let's put him in the net and let's see if we can go out and catch another one. But I'm gonna stick. I'm going back out on the pink neon, <clears throat> not because I don't think my snowman method's any less effective, but today is certainly a neon day. So I'm a bit fingers and thumbs because it's I am so cold, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying fishing. I've got I'm fishing with some nice tackle some nice bait and isn't that what fishing's about you're just enjoying yourself 
So we've come to the end of the session and uh, it's been a very cold session. We've managed to catch a few fish. We've managed to give away a few secrets. Uh, we've caught on the snowman. If you haven't seen the snowman, you need to get and have a look at that. We've caught on the neons which is another one of my favourites and we've caught on the ringers but mostly falling on the neons today for some inexplicable reason the fluoro and the tip I can give you all and don't forget get that mixed in with your pellets because it is an absolute must thanks for watching <laughs>